Today, I'll be sharing from my personal experience. It's something I'm still working through, but I'm sharing because the results have been excellent. And that is how being more transparent changed the quality of my life. Have you ever met someone who seems very non-committal with their speech? They use a lot of kind ofs and maybes and ifs. They share their thoughts and opinions and they add, but I don't know though. Or if they're texting, they add the LOL at the end of an opinion or a statement that could have been definitive. It can be hard to get to the bottom of what they mean and even worse, it may be hard to understand what their values are. I've made it a point to be more clear in my communication style. I want to lower my stress levels, improve my self-esteem, strengthen my relationships, and be more confident. It takes a lot of bravery to put that into action, but the results have been awesome, and so I want to share that with you. Being more transparent brings things to the surface faster. We don't speak up because we are afraid of what the result may be, And so we purposely delay conversations in hopes of delaying the things we are trying to avoid. This does not necessarily bring us peace because the very thing we are delaying will constantly be on our mind. Also, keep in mind that you might be wrong about the negative results. Bringing things to the surface sooner rather than later can save you so much trouble in the long run. Next, you bring clarity to yourself and the others around you. When you don't speak up and let others know what you're thinking, you don't have all the information you need. An example would be repeating what you understood to be true to the person who said it. They can at that point let you know if you have it right and are understanding them correctly. You can also bring clarity to others around you by disclosing the intention of your actions. An example would be, I'd like to see if we can move our lunch back 30 minutes. I'm getting my car repaired, and I just want to ensure that I'm not late when I meet you. Instead, some would wait till the last minute in hopes that they can make it in time. When they're late, the mention of car repairs after the fact looks more like an excuse. Next, you're more confident. Listen, you have got to walk in your truth. You won't truly be confident until you're walking out what you know to be true in your heart. If you avoid being transparent, you are not aligning your beliefs with your actions. A confident person, regardless of what others think and even regardless of what may happen, will always walk in truth. In fact, they'll be afraid not to walk in truth. Next, people get a better idea of who you are when you're transparent. This is good. You want people to choose you, love you, and accept you for the real you. The real you is worthy of love. Know that. Next, you use it to set expectations. If you never tell people what you want or what you expect, they will do whatever they feel is best for them. Most people aren't going to ask what your expectations are or your needs are or your boundaries are. Most people assume that if you need anything different than what you're getting, you will speak up. It's like, no news is good news. If you don't speak up for what you want and need, you are just increasing your odds of not getting it. Next, you use it to declare what it is you truly desire. Transparency, which is really just being honest, candid, or frank, is a way to declare what it is you truly desire. Sometimes we are afraid to say out loud what we truly want in our heart because We fear we won't get it, and we will be doubly disappointed having admitted it. I've been there. But not declaring what we want is far more likely to lead to disappointment. Be honest. Don't give the modified version of the desires you have just to pad your heart with protection from disappointment. Deal with the real thing and be real about it. Last, when you are transparent, you make it safe for others to be as well. Being transparent is you being the person you want to meet. If people were more clear, we would have a better idea of how to proceed in a lot of situations. That means you should also be more clear so others know how to proceed with you. Now, benefits in the workplace. 
At some point when you're working, you'll be part of a team or you'll be doing a project where you need to keep your key stakeholders informed. The more transparent you are about alternatives to solutions, realistic deadlines and roadblocks and roadblocks you need help removing, the smoother things will go. What's more is being transparent in this environment helps your reputation. Say something is due in six months. How will your reputation be affected if for the entire six months you give no updates? It doesn't matter that you're on track if no one knows it. Now let's talk about the benefits of transparency in relationships. No one is left to wonder. A lot of inferences and assumptions are made when information is left out and you have some control over this. You can share more and you can share sooner. Now, when it comes to negotiating, being honest about your intent and motives can actually help you find some common ground with whoever you're negotiating with. You may come out with more than you bargained for, all because of the respect you earned through your transparency and the ease of finding common goals. Now, if being transparent is something that you struggle with, this episode might be your sign to shift and get into that uncomfortable place of growth so that you can get more out of your communication and your connection with others. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to stop by Apple Podcasts and leave a review. And also please, please share this podcast with as many people as you can think of. Thank you so much for listening and also for subscribing. I'll catch you in the next episode.